Who? RJ Fletcher. He runs Channel 8. You know, the network affiliate downtown. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to send it back to him tomorrow. No, uh, th that's okay. I'll, I'll take it over myself. It'll be a good chance to meet the competition. You know, George, I'll tell you, I don't really think that's such a good idea. I heard he's not the nicest guy in the world. Oh, come on. He can't be all that bad. You just gotta know how to talk to those guys. You idiot! Can't you do anything I tell you to do? Does this look like a number two pencil? No, I just thought that You would... thought? I don't pay you to think. But, Dad... Shut up! Let's get back to the meeting. All right, who's got the research report? I left the report on your desk, sir. I don't see it. When did you put it here? Yesterday, before I left, sir. The janitor. It must have been the janitor. He probably threw it out when he was cleaning up in here. Send in the janitor. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior at Channel 8. This is a business, not a home for irresponsible pus brains. Uh, 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 you wanted to see me, sir? That's right. I guess you know why I called you in here. Uh, because you're lonely? Oh, you moron. <laughs> now, look carefully. Do you see anything missing from this desk? Uh, that stapler? No! Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, listen to me. There was a very important file on this desk. A file that represented two months of intensive research. It's my guess that you threw it out. Oh, uh, no, sir. No, uh... Were you in here cleaning up last night? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I was. Do you see that file on my desk now? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think I've proven my point. You are a worthless human being, Mr. Uh... Uh, Spadowski. Stanley Spadowski. May I call you Stanley? Okay. Stanley. You're fired! But I... I, I didn't... Get out! People are... I can't believe the incompetence in this place. People like that should be put to sleep. Well, what do you know? The research file. Here it is. Been sitting here all the time. <laughs> Ready home, I call. Yes, Mr. Fletcher. Hey, RJ! Hi, George Newman, U62. Say, nice place you got here. You know, I was just thinking, since we're both in the business... Where'd you get this? Do you realize that stealing mail is a federal offense? Hold on, you don't understand. I was... No, you don't understand how serious a crime this is. I think you just better clear out your desk and get out. You're through, mister. But I don't work here. Trespassing, huh? Well, you've got 10 seconds to get out before I call the police. Look, look I just thought we could maybe... Five, four, three... Gee, look at the time. Well, gotta go. Keep in touch. No, no, please. It's all I've got left. Let go. This is station property. No, no, it's my mop. Let's go. Go, you idiot. That's my mop. Not anymore, buddy. Hey, are you all right? It's just not fair. Come on, forget about it. It's only a mop. Only a mop. Only a mop. Uh, you don't understand. That mop was given to me for my birthday when I was eight years old. We've never been apart! Now... Now I don't even have a job anymore. For 15 years, they just tossed me out like an old bag of moldy tangerines. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, maybe.
Maybe you could come work for me. Really? You mean it? Sure, I guess we could use a janitor. Stanley Spadowski. George Newman. Oh, I'm mighty glad to meet you, George. Hey, I'm gonna do a really good job. You won't be sorry. I'm really gonna do a good job for you, George. I'm a good janitor. I'm a good... Want me to clean your glasses for you? No, that... Ah, I'll make them real shiny, real shiny. Good, we're friends, I told you. We're friends. Nope.